Hello viewers, in this lecture we will study 1,3-dithienes and enamines. In this lecture we will study alkylation of 1,3-dithienes, synthetic utility of 1,3-dithienes, preparation of aldehydes and ketones, conversion of aldehydes into ketones, alkylation and acylation of enamines. Synthetic utility of enamines. Now, what is dithiene? One three dithiene is a non-aromatic heterocyclic compound containing two sulfur atoms at position one and three in a ring containing only single bonds. This dithiene is made up of two words di means two, thi means sulfur, anes means ring containing single bond. That is why they are known as 1,3-diethyenes. 1,3-diethyene alicyclic heterocyclic compound is prepared by treating formaldehyde with 1,3-propane thiol in the presence of trace of acid we get 1,3-dithiene. The hydrogen atom of C2 which is attached to two sulfur atoms are more acidic pKa value is 32 than the hydrogens of ordinary alkyl carbon atoms. 1,3-dithiene is a V-protonic acid and thus can be converted into anion upon treatment with a base like N-butyl lithium. This base in which this R group carries delta negative charge, metal carries positive charge, it attached on this hydrogen which is comparatively loosely attached and removed from here and generates a carbonion. The formation of this carbonion, this negative charge, this is stabilized by the two sulfur atoms which has the capacity to accommodate the negative charge. Because of this, this carbonion is formed and it is stabilized. And this carbonion can act as strong nucleophile and reacts with an alkyl halide by SN2 mechanism and undergoes alkylation like in this case. X is removed and this R gets attached at this negative point and this gets converted into alkyl substituted 1,3-dithiene which is also known as thioacetyl. This thioacetyl has still one more hydrogen which can be treated with a base that is N-butyl lithium. This butyl lithium removes from here proton and this gets converted into negative charge. Again it can be treated with a another alkyl halide and it is converted into dialkylated product dialkyl 1,3-dithiene which is also known as thioketal. From 1,3-dithiene we can prepare aldehyde and ketone. This is the synthetic utility of 1,3-dithiene. Let us prepare first of all aldehydes. Aldehydes can be prepared when 1,3-dithiene is treated with base like and butyl lithium and it is converted into carbonyl. This carbonyl it can undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction upon treatment with Rx and it substitute R or this is also known as a thioacetyl. This thioacetyl upon hydrolysis with mercury chloride, methanol, or aqueous acetonitrile produce one molecule of aldehyde 
and one molecule of propane thione. So, in this method we have prepared aldehyde in a similar way we can also prepare ketones. Ketones are prepared when dialkyl derivatives are hydrolyzed. So, we will prepare from 1, 3 dithyanes, it is converted into monoalkyl like in the previous slide. In a similar way from monoalkyl again it is treated with the butyl lithium and H is removed and converted into carbonyl which upon treatment with alkyl halide undergoes nucleophilic substitution and R group is substituted. And this is known as the dialkyl product of 1,3-dithyne or this is also known as thioketal. This thioketal upon hydrolysis with mercury chloride, methanol or aqueous acetonitrile produce one molecule of ketone and one molecule of propane thiol. By this method we have prepared aldehydes and ketones. In a similar way we can convert aldehydes into ketones. Aldehydes can be converted into ketone when aldehydes are treated with 1,3-propane dithiol in the presence of trace of acid it forms thioacetal 1,3-dithiene or thioacetal. This thioacetal has one hydrogen which can be removed upon treatment with a base that is n-butyl lithium. It removes butane and generates a carbonyl. This carbonyl which acts as nucleophile undergoes nucleophilic substitution upon treatment with simple alkyl halide and it forms thioketal. This thioketal again upon hydrolysis on treatment with mercury chloride, methanol or aqueous acetonitrile produce ketone and one molecule of 1,3-propane dithiol. In this way we have completed the topic 1,3-dithiene. Now in this lesson the second topic is enamine. What are enamines? As the name indicate, ene plus amine. Ene means double bond and amine means amines. Enamines are or we can define them as alpha beta unsaturated amines which may be regarded as nitrogen analogues of enol like enols. Like enols these enamines are nitrogen analogues of enols. These are known as enamines. Enamines when an aldehyde or a ketone containing alpha hydrogen is treated with secondary amine in the presence of trace amount of an acid such as para toluene sulfonic acid forms an intermediate known as carbinolamine which is unstable. It loses water OH and from the adjacent carbon atom hydrogen and gets converted into enamine. And amines derived from aldehydes are less stable than those from ketones and both types of enamines derived from acyclic secondary means are far less stable than those from cyclic secondary means. So, cyclic secondary means most commonly employed in enamine formations are pyrrolidine, piperidine and morpholine. Normally these secondary amines are used in the preparation of enamine. Pyrrolidine is prepared from pyrrol and piperidine is prepared from pyridine. Next we will study alkylation of enamines. Enamines may be regarded as the resonance hybrid of following two structures. In these two structures nitrogen carries lone pair of electron and when it electrons are donated at this position 
these electrons are further transferred and we get the carbon ion. Initially, in this first structure, nitrogen was having lone pair of electron and in the second structure, beta carbon atom is having lone pair of electron. Both can act as a nucleophile, but normally since beta carbon atom has sufficient carbon ion character, so this undergoes alkylation by SN2 mechanism when treated with primary alkyl halide or alkylic benzylic etc or halo ethers or halo esters they have also been used as alkylating agents. Now these enamines upon treatment with alkyl halide how it reacts? Electrons are shifted here then these electrons attack on this carbon ion on this carbon which is electron deficient and they undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction. Because this carbon which carries beta carbon atom which carries negative charge this acts as nucleophile and it undergoes nucleophilic substitution reaction and forms an important compound intermediate which is known as imine salt or this product is the alkylated product which upon hydrolysis this imine salt upon hydrolysis gives alkylated aldehyde along with this salt. So, this is the importance of this reaction that with the help of this enamines we are able to prepare alkylated aldehydes or alkylated ketones. Formation of enamines by reaction of an aldehyde or a ketone with a secondary amine followed by alkylation of enamine with a suitable alkylating agent and subsequent hydrolysis is used to prepare alpha alkylated aldehyde or ketone. This is a synthetic utility in this way we can prepare by using suppose we are taking here cyclohexanone ketone and cyclic amine as pyrolidine in the presence of Paratolvin sulfonic acid it forms an intermediate compound and in this intermediate compound this undergo alkylation upon treatment with benzyl bromide and it substitute at this position this substitute benzyl group and this upon hydrolysis produce alkylated ketone that is 2 benzyl cyclohexanone along with this pyrrhodine bromide salt. So, this is the synthetic utility we can prepare substituted aldehydes or ketones. In a similar way this reaction by which we have formed this product this reaction is called stark enamine reaction and gives monoalkylated product of ketone. It has the advantage over base catalyzed alkylation or acylation of ketones that reaction can be stopped at monoalkylation stage and the other advantage is that alkylation usually takes place on the less substituted side of ketones. If we take 2 methyl cyclohexane 1 own which upon treatment with pyrrolidine in the presence of para tolvin sulfonic acid it forms the intermediate enamine. Now in this enamine this double bond is opposite to this CH3 and this will further introduce alkyl group on this side when it is treated with benzyl bromide. When it is treated with benzyl bromide and further hydrolyzed benzyl group is substituted opposite to this alkyl group and the product form is 2 benzyl 6 methyl cyclohexane 1 own. The reason for the region selectivity is that the anamine is stabilized by resonance between the p orbital containing lone pair of electrons on nitrogen atom and 
p orbital of this double bond this requires coplanarity of the bonds on the unsaturated carbon atoms and the nitrogen atom which is possible only in the structure 1 and it is absent in case of the structure 2 because of steric hindrance because of this reason we get the substitution on this side and not on this side in a similar way enamines can also undergo acylation enamines undergo acylation on treatment with acid chloride in the presence of base triethylamine like here it forms an amine and from this attacks this electron deficient carbon and it forms an imine salt which further upon subsequent hydrolysis gives the corresponding 13 diketones so the synthetic utility of enamine is that acylation of enamine can be used to prepare 13 dicarbonyl compounds by the following sequence of reaction that is preparation of enamines from the given ketones then acylation of enamine with suitable acid chloride and hydrolysis of acylated enamines suppose we want to prepare 13 diketones from cyclopentanone and piperidine in the presence of para toluene sulfonic acid first of all it will form enamine and this enamine it will further undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction and this here attacks a carbon and removes from here chloride ion when it is treated with acyl halide and it forms an intermediate and this intermediate upon hydrolysis produces a compound that is 2 acetyl cyclopentanone or this is 13 diketone along with the salt that is in the end let us revise this topic that diethine is a weak protonic acid pka is 32 it forms a carbon ion on treatment with normal butyl lithium which can be alkylated to form monoalkyl derivative and monoalkyl derivative of diethines are also called thioacetals which on hydrolysis with either mercury chloride in methanol or aqueous acetonitrile give aldehydes likewise dialkyl derivative of 13 diethines also called thioketals on hydrolysis with either mercury chloride in methanol or aqueous acetonitrile gives ketones and enamines are alpha beta unsaturated amines these are prepared by heating an aldehyde or ketone with cyclic 2 degree amines such as pyrrolidine piperidine morpholine etc in the presence of para toluene sulfonic acid these enamines can be easily alkylated with alkyl halide and acylated with acid chloride the hydrolysis of alkylated enamines gives alpha alkyl substituted ketones whereas hydrolysis of acylated enamines gives 13 diketones today we have completed our topic organic synthesis via enolate in which we have already covered acidity of alpha hydrogen malonic ester malonic ester synthesis synthetic utility of malonic acid acetoacetic ester its synthesis and its synthetic utility keto enol tautomerism in detail and in the last diethines and enamines thank you